Hello and welcome to another AutoCAD 2007 CAD clip talking about AutoCAD 3D and just kind of continuing along with our surfaces. Lastly, we talked about a planar surface. Well, we've also got a thickened surface and all I've done here is I've changed the color of these objects just in the properties, these solid objects, which is the resultant. Now this one is an extruded surface and this one is a thickened surface and I'm just going to erase these guys. Okay. There's also a setting called OBJDEL or sorry DEL OBJ and that is a uh, set var that you can set so that when you create these um, thickened surfaces and extruded you retain the original geometry and that's been set to zero which is why I was able to erase the um, solids and then be re left with those surfaces so I'm just going to switch back to be a 2D wireframe and go back to my top view all I've got here is two surfaces that I've created planar surfaces using my planar surface tool over here and they different they have different um, mesh densities but that is okay so now what I'm going to talk about is um, the thickened surface here so I'm going to go to a 3D view and again nothing really fancy about our thickened surface all it does is take a surface that's planar and makes it thicker and you give it a number. Um, I find that the extrusion gives us a better result in, and you can also taper it so I've uh, yet to discover all the nuances between the different geometry that's created. Visually it looks the same but I'm sure somewhere down the line I'll discover the differences. Um, so I'm going to start by using my thickened surface and I'm going to read my command line it says simply says select surfaces to thicken so I'm going to pick on a surface and hit enter it's going to ask me for a thickness I'm going to type in a number like 10 a relative coordinate and hit enter and I'm done okay I can go back and look at that in my different um, views here in my visual styles okay and then what I always do is I list it list this object okay it's a 3d solid and history bounding box etc so that is was a 3d surface or sorry a planar surface that was given thickness okay by using the I'm going to use my shift middle mouse button here okay so now I can take that 3d solid and maybe move it over there to the side okay now I'm going to compare that to the extrude extrude I can extrude a surface I'm going to hit enter I'm going to set T for taper I'm gonna set a tapering angle of you know 12 degrees and then I'm gonna give uh, it says specify height I'll say 15 enter and it'll taper it okay or I could have not tapered it okay let's move that over to the side okay let's try it again extrude this is as much of an extrusion lesson as a thickened surface pick on here enter and I'm gonna say taper angle T enter of zero and then a height as I move up of you know 10 okay okay so this is an extruded one and this was a thickened surface one visually they look the same if I list this enter okay and I list this enter okay there's the two of them they're both 3d solids okay one is an extrusion solid type this one doesn't tell you what solid type it is Okay, a little bit different. So what I always do to try to compare them is I will list them and see if there's a difference there. So the, really the only difference is this is an extrusion and the one that I use the thickened surface is not an extrusion and somewhere in there I'm sure there's some boundaries that will um, make them um, work differently. But my point here being is I can use the thickened surface, pick on here, give a surface thickness of 8 or whatever I want and it's done or I can extrude it visually they look the same okay but this is a surface that's been thickened and also notice I use a shift middle mouse button when you do an extrusion you still have a nice grip where you can extrude these up and down okay these ones have these beautiful grips if you do thickened surface then you can you cannot um, change it perhaps you can go in and change the thickness in the properties let's see click on here go to my properties material 
shadow casting etc so I am not sold on this thickened surface I'm not sure where I would use this where it would have an advantage over simply using the extrude um, however maybe someone can drop me a line and explain to me where um, those differences are so that's about all I want to talk about closing off our surfaces with the thickened surface comparing it really to the extrusion and discovering I'm not a huge fan of necessarily using the thickened surface tool but there it is